Hi guys, hope you're all doing good. Welcome to this week's Crypto Chiefs YouTube video where we're going to take a look at Ethereum. Before we begin the video, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will leave two links below. Um, one to our free Telegram group where you can receive daily market updates and also a link to our website where you can find out more information about us and check out the verified results from our premium signals group. Uh, I will pin them in the comment section below. So we're going to take a look at Ethereum today and um, looking first here at the Ethereum Bitcoin chart and we can see this continues to look so weak um, like for over a year now it's been this really clear clean downtrend uh, showing you know real weakness against Bitcoin and the last sort of week or so has continued in the same way not helped by the fact that Earlier this week, uh, we got news that the Ethereum Foundation actually sold, I think, 1,700 Ethereum themselves. So, yeah, pretty bearish price action this week. Uh, but we are in a kind of level now where we potentially could start to see a reversal from this area. If we look like back how it's traded around here on the weekly chart before, it's in a zone we'd like to see a bounce from. Um, you know, we don't want to start accepting below this zone or likely pulls the price of Ethereum much lower. So if you're expecting a bounce here, you know, you could also take this in confluence with the total two market cap. So the market cap excluding Bitcoin, we're back around the 500 billion level, which we spoke about so many times. We're just trading this really, you know, 540 down to 500, back to 540 since the last sort of couple of months. But eventually this is going to have to give and we're either going to lose this 500 level and test lower or we're going to move um, up and break above 540. So if you think we're, you know, we're going to push higher, then it's not a bad place to start accumulating or taking a swing position in Ethereum. Um, but if we look at the daily chart on Ethereum USDT itself, I'm in no rush to position myself here um, for a trade. We've got this daily sort of order block here that failed to hold just recently over the last few days um, and we can see this is kind of an important zone we've bounced and rejected from a number of times before and we can see this is now clearly holding the price back so it's you know really not coming close to to regaining 1600 uh, rejected from this level again yesterday so really what i'm looking for I want to see ideally 1,600, the 1,600 key level flipped, uh, move back above that and then look to position on the retest for a move higher. Until then, I just have the feeling we're going to, we're going to test lower. And the first thing that we to look at is around just under $1,500 actually. We've got this wick here, this liquidity, which hasn't been um, swept since that move mid-August. Um, obviously had a really strong bounce and recovery from there but there's a lot of um, there'll be a lot of trapped trades in this area so that's an area that we you know we, we're looking to revisit at some point and test but I do also have my eyes on a lower level as well on the daily chart um, around 1375 it's a really interesting level for me we've got this um, daily area of demand here something like this and again we can see how the price has interacted with this level before um, so it's, it's quite a clean level so as i said i'm waiting personally for a flip of 1600 and then we can position you know look to trade back towards 1700 but i'm really looking for a reaction on the test of this wick just under 1500 but I will start to accumulate more heavily if we go down to under 1,400, this zone here for me, 1,370 down to 1,330, really nice place to look to take a swing trade in that area. So I hope you found this useful guys. Let me know in the comments below um, your thoughts on Ethereum, short term and long term. I mean, personally, long term, I'm still really bullish on this. I think that coming into the next bull run, so over the next 12 to 18 months, you have to sort of take a top-down approach. You're not going to lose out if you're Bitcoin, Ethereum, the strongest coins. 
um, are going to are going to run first. Um, and personally, if I had to give a target of sort of where we are, sort of twelve months from now, twelve to fifteen months from now, I do see Ethereum back at around four thousand dollars. So yeah, as I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments and I will see you on the next video.